Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to talk about the series finale. Hello. Girl, okay. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the series finale for this cast. Um or the season finale. Um lights out, <laughs> closed curtains for everyone. Um but the Real Housewives of New Jersey, the way that it ended, it gave it gave girl it's a wrap. Now I did see in the headlines that um they were saying that they won't start filming. I think they're gonna take a break until 2025 to figure out um what to do with the show. When you think about it, 2025 is really not that far um away unless they start filming or trying to figure it out at the end of 2025 but it's already august you know what i'm saying so i guess it just depends on how long it takes them to figure it out um in the year of 25 um that'll determine when they come back or if they come back um again the way that it went off it did kind of give everyone could be receiving a pink slip in a white box, but you never know. Can I say something? As much, this is the thing. Andy did say, and I must uh, um, admit that he was correct. You know, mo not most, all of the time when Andy is asked about the newest season of whatever franchise, he's going to come out and say, oh, this is the best season, or this was a great season, or the reunion was fantastic, right? And I mean, I get it. He's not going to come out and say the season was a mess, right? Who's going to say that about their, their own stuff? And then sometimes we figure out three or four episodes in, to a new season of a housewife show that girl Andy was full of it. He said that this season, um, he, he had to, he walked back his words because, and I'm paraphrasing, he basically said that this season was a mess and that the group was too divided, um, but they still finished the season. Then he came back and said, no, 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 the season was actually good. And again, I'm paraphrasing. Um, I have to admit that even though this group was divided, I still feel like this was a solid season. It still worked. Now, I'm not saying that it could continue to work um, because I don't think that there's any longevity with this group as fractured as they are. However, I feel like for this season, um, it still worked. I enjoyed this season of New Jersey. I'm someone that's kind of new to the franchise. I've always known Teresa. You know, I feel like I have to always give this feel. I've always watched a show here or there. I've even watched a reunion here or there. But my first time actually tuning in, watching full seasons was what? Season, was it season 14? I think season 10. I tuned in for, started watching, I started, started reviewing season 10, I believe, or nine. I think, I can't remember, girl. Um, but this season was really, really good. It it was really, really good. I think that Marge Josephs is a top tier housewife. I really honestly do. Um, I think that what some of you see in Teresa is actually Marge. Marge is that girl. Marge is a housewife, <laughs> okay? Marge is great television. <laughs> Marge gives good TV. Marge is that girl. She really, really is. Um, <laughs> I know that somebody has to go. And I think what it comes down to is Teresa and Melissa. This is what I figure, this is what I've come to for today. Now my mind might change tomorrow. Just give Teresa her own show. They say she's the queen. They say that she carries the show. Why not just give Teresa her own show like Kim Zolciak and let her do her own thing 
on her own spinoff show. Let her cook all the meatballs she wants. Let her have all the conversations with Gia and let Louie run around and be red in the face. Just give Teresa her own show and then just bring the ladies back. I wouldn't be mad if they brought all the ladies back. Again, I know it's not going to happen because Andy, one thing I will say he's been consistent in, in saying is that it will be a, re a revamp. Um, I just don't know who. I don't know if half of the ladies are going to return. I'll say this. I would not mind if Danielle, Rachel, and Marge definitely returned. Danielle, girl, you're going to have to watch. Danielle, you almost, girl, you push it. Girl, you look ghetto. You look ghetto. Um, at this point, this is the culture that they've created at Bravo with the housewives fight. It is what it is. I'm not getting worked up over the housewives fighting anymore. I'm not getting worked up over when. It, it is what it is, because what's going to happen, they usually forgive each other and we still be mad, okay? Um, but it don't take away from the fact that Danielle, you will look ghetto. You will look banjo, baby. Um, we'll get into that in a little bit. But I wouldn't mind if they brought Rachel and Danielle back and Marge. Um, who else? Dolores could come back, but Dolores, Dolores really don't bring nothing to me. Dolores, to me, I go for Dolores because I think Dolores is a bad woman physically. But other than that, I don't, I've, I haven't seen anything from Dolores that gives me housewife. She, she can give me, she gives me more of a friend of a show. But Dolores is not housewife material. She's just not. Dolores can be either demoted or they can get. They really don't have to bring Dolores back at all. The only reason why I keep saying they need to bring Melissa back is because of the uh, because of the men. From what I have seen, the men play a major part in this show. I just don't see how this show could continue with the with the formula that they have if Joe and Melissa are not a part of this cast. Because in my head, Joe is in charge of the boys. We already got a glimpse of what Louie would bring. Girl, they would be sitting around, girl, writing out their feelings, which is fine, girl. We like to discuss our feelings. And doing podcasts, it would be whack. It would be lame. We like to see the boys party and have a good time. At least I do. Um, Melissa doesn't really bring anything. It's really Joe. Teresa, in my honest opinion, does not bring anything. Teresa does a good job of making sure that her name stays in the mess. And I feel like that's where some of the Teresa stands and fans get it twisted. Teresa isn't this great housewife. Maybe she was at the beginning. Maybe. I think what it is also is that some people are still stuck on Teresa flipping the table, which was iconic to some people. But what I have seen in the last four or five years, I have not gotten anything from Teresa that gives me iconic, legendary housewife. Top tier nothing. Again, I think that Teresa does a good job of making sure that her name stays in the mess. So when discussions are happening, Teresa may be, Teresa's name may be a part of the discussion. So it appears as if Teresa is the reason for the season. But when you really break down what Teresa is bringing to this show, it's really nothing in my honest opinion. Girl, they could talk about another bitch. <laughs> Teresa ain't got to be mentioned. I really do mean that. When, when, <laughs> like, Teresa does things. Like, for example, when she, when she sent her brother um, what was it, champagne? The drink that, no, no. The, what's that, father drinks? Like, Teresa did that because she knew that, girl, it would spark up conversation. So now we're talking, now we're going back to talking about Teresa and Joe, right? And now it's in front of the group. So now this group conversation is being had about Teresa sending this bottle of whatever she sent to um, Joe. You see what I'm saying? Um <clears throat> I do think it's weird. <clears throat> Some of y'all gonna have to correct me if I'm wrong. Like, 
I thought that how a lot <clears throat> I thought that how a lot of this mess got started, especially with the fooders and Louie, is because of the private investigator that he hired. Girl, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, hold on, let me look at my notes. I took notes on my phone and my note uh, notebook because I couldn't find my pen. And then I, anyways. So Marge said that if Jackie thought, oh, okay. So let's just talk about the whole ex and um, Louis. Girl, at the end of the day, this is what it comes down to. I want Rachel and John and Teresa and Louis to sit down and shut up. Rachel, in my head, and John thought, and I don't know why, that they were going to get on this show and whatever he did in his younger years was not going to come out. Whether it was robbing people, selling dope, stealing cars, whatever he did when he was 17 or 18 or 19 or 25 or 30, y'all thought that it wasn't going to come out. Girl, you are on Bravo. And as much as we hear about these housewives receiving tea in their DMs, tea through their emails, girl, whatever John allegedly did when he was younger was bound to come out. Whether it was going to be through Teresa or another housewife, it was going to hit the. It was going. It was definitely going to hit the, the the ceiling. Okay, so I think it's a little naive for them to have thought that 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 John's past was not going to catch up with him. I think that it's weird that Louis. And Teresa want to put the blame of this lawsuit that's happening between Louis and his ex on Marge. That's what it sounds like. Even if Marge was in contact with the with the ex, does that really have something to do with the lawsuit? I, I, Marge was in contact with the ex. Yes. But was it also after New York? But even if Marge was in contact with the ex, the only thing I guess that would prove is that Teresa should have never trusted Marge from the get-go, right? But it still wouldn't take away from the fact that, Louie, you would look cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And I know you, wouldn't th I know you didn't think that this mess wasn't going to come out. It sounds like they're trying to blame Marge for the video of him in the woods jacking off with them. Okay, they wasn't jacking off. <laughs> At least in my head, that's what they was. You know the video that came out of Louie with the men in the woods or wherever they were? Like, these things happened. <laughs> and for some reason, they want to just place the blame on how the video got out, how people found out about it. Girl, it was going to happen. I think that's my whole, I think that's where I'm at with it. Like, Meeting or not, but I, th I think it's also dishonest for some people to believe to 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 not understand at least from Rachel and John's point of view why they now have an issue with Louis and with Teresa. They have a valid beef, girl. We was fine until your man went and got a private investigator and started investigating me and my man or my man or whatever. Rachel and John have every reason to be upset at Louis and Teresa. I don't think it was a beef until the whole private investigator that Louis hired. That's why I think the beef started with Rachel and uh, Louis. I mean, you know, the food is in the whatever. Correct me if I'm wrong, bitch. Dolores and Marge. Okay. So Marge, so Dolores says, I'm happy you didn't invite, and you, you know, last year they had a meeting. Not a meeting, but they had like, um, Basically a takedown. And it may I, I mean, listen, we've been watching these these housewives shows for years. I think we would be foolish to think that these housewives go into this uh go into, you know, the reunion and they don't have conversations about what what's gonna happen, what's gonna do, you know what I'm saying? We know. Um, and especially with the New Jersey being as divided as they are. And on top of that, that was when they found out about the private investigator. So I definitely see and understand why they probably all got together and said, girl, we shutting this shit down. 
Louis is the one who has fucked up the dynamic, if we're going to be honest about it. I think the men, the men have gotten into arguments prior to Louis, I believe, from what I, from what I remember. But I feel like if Louis was if Louis was there and Joe wasn't, it would just be chaos and confusion. Anyways, so yeah, um, I, I think that it may I, I, it makes sense. I'm not saying. I, mean, I guess I'm saying that, all I'm saying is I understand how they could probably meet up prior to the reunion to discuss the takedown of Louis and possibly even Teresa. Because, girl, your man is out here hiring private investigators. Girl, we don't do that over here. Now, we might be some nosy-ass bitches. Marge is probably the nosiest one out of everybody. But Marge is finding tea out herself. I mean, you know, by herself. Or, you know, she might be texting, girl, have you heard so? Have you heard about so-and-so? Right? You know, Jennifer, how, what, what's, what's the latest on Jennifer? You know, I could, see, I could see her going around saying shit like that. But Marge ain't necessarily hiring no private investigator. Marge doing her own dirt. <laughs> okay? That's the difference. Um... So the Lord says, I'm glad you didn't invite me to that powwow, you know, to the review, the meeting. And Marge says she did. When I tell y'all, bitch, I have never seen Dolores get this pissed. When I tell you Dolores was pissed, I said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dolores used to cut bitches back in the day. Bitch, the way... I said the Lord's probably used to shank hoes and shoot hoes and beat up girls and girl run over people. The Lord's was pissed. I said if she was that pissed over that. I can um, I just girl, I can't imagine how upset she probably was when she found out Frank was cheating on her. I can't imagine what she did if she probably found a woman in her house like. The Lord, like I said, if she's mad like this, I I would hate to see Dolores like girl. Dolores is red, her veins popping out of it. She was basically trying to say that Marge is telling a lie, that girl, you did not tell me about no meetings. Dolores was saying she didn't know. Marge is saying, Yes, you did, girl. I told you, girl. It was a quick just drive. It was like a pass by conversation. But girl, I told you. I believe that Marge told Dolores. I don't think Dolores is lying. She said she put it on her kids. You know, they quit to put something on their kids. I don't think that, I really don't think that Dolores remembers. I do believe that Marge told Dolores. I honestly do. And I just think that Dolores does not remember the conversation because it was probably so quick. And, you know, sometimes you make yourself forget certain things like girl i don't even want to think about that i don't even want to talk about it uh -uh, girl. Uh -uh, uh -uh. i could see marge on the phone like girl yeah you know we having a meeting girl i know you're not gonna come but girl we having a meeting and then lois probably like uh, uh girl don't tell me nothing i don't want to know nothing girl leave me out of it uh, uh and then that was the end of it i could honestly see the conversation going somewhere some some you know where along those lines um but when i said she when i said the lord was pissed pissed at um at, at Marge. Um hold up, let me look at my notes again on this phone. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm done with that. So Louis is talking about Marge and her kids. I hope her son suffers the way that our children have suffered. Girl. Uh, Louis is a weirdo to me. Girl. I'm sorry. I'm not. I, I don't think that Marge is innocent. Do I think that Marge was in, con in contact with the ex more than a few times? Absolutely. Do I think that Marge saw her at an event or she seen her at events and they didn't they didn't talk? I don't I, I don't know if, I don't gang or say I don't believe. I ain't gonna say I believe that. Especially it, it just it, uh uh. <laughs> I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna be no fool as I believe that. Um, but for the most part, it's still in my head, it doesn't take away for, unless they're trying to say that Marge is responsible for these lawsuits. She is the one who has convinced these people to try and sue Louie. 
I don't know, girl. I don't even care. Girl, at this point, it don't, don't even matter. Girl, the show is off. These bitches ain't coming back. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, Teresa's talking with Louis. She says, my brother knows I'm done with him. Um, I won't say forever. And of course, this is the thing. Teresa and Joe are brother and sister. Girl, it is what it is. I think that as much as you, some of you try and act as if Teresa and Melissa need... Um, I mean, I'm sorry that Melissa and Joe need Teresa as a storyline. I think Teresa knows the, knows the same thing. I don't think it's I don't think it's a coincidence. Shout out to Nene Leakes that they know that we're we at we're at the end of taping, and now she's trying to carry on the storyline into the next season as a possibility. I, I'm done with my brother. Well, I won't say forever. You see how she is like planting those seeds. So I'm the 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 story may continue basically. Um. And, and 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 Melissa made a good point, girl. What's the difference between Teresa and Marge meeting up? I'm on, I'm sorry, Teresa and Jennifer meeting up with Marge, uh, Marge's ex best friend trying to find dirt versus girl, uh, what's the face Marge trying to find dirt on Louis? It's pretty much the same. The only difference is I know some people will say, well, what Louis got to do with it, girl? Because dirt is dirt, <laughs> girl. And if you go digging, I'm gonna go digging. <laughs> and who I find the dirt on, whether it's you or your husband, girl, I got it. And I'm putting it in a bag, a Ziploc bag. <laughs> okay. And keeping it just in case. <laughs> I need to open it up and swing it in your face. <laughs> okay. Um, so they have the Last Supper. I, a part of me feels like the way that they were talking, like, so this is like the Last Supper. Like, this is like the last time we're going to get together. Like, if you listen to the way they were talking, it almost felt like they caught wind or somebody told them that girl we don't know if the show is coming back so girl just meet up and just get through the season go back and watch and just listen to how they were talking especially melissa it it, it just felt like that way to me um when i tell y'all bitch that rachel got out of that car Baby, Miss Thing was giving mob wives tease. Miss Thing was giving jet black hair, black fur, black pant, black pump, black top, gold body chain, black bag. I say, ooh, yes. Girl, that was a look for me. Girl, baby, Dolores was cute. Dolores had this long black lace gown on, hair pinned up, looking like, girl, looking like Queen of the South. Girl, top drug dealer wife. Girl, drug dealer herself, quiet as it's kept. Girl, Marge came looking like a rich white woman. I say, yes, God, Marge. Girl, Marge got out Bob, Bob and black. Girl, I think she had some shades on. Did she have some shades on? Uh, Melissa looked a mess <laughs> in comparison to them. Melissa looked like she was about to go, girl, to happy hour with her homegirls afterwards. Um... Danielle, she looked a mess. Uh, Teresa looked a mess. Um, Jennifer just threw on a Versace wrap dress. <laughs> Girl. Um, who else? Jackie looked a mess. <laughs> Girl. Anyways. Um, Teresa walks in. She's the last one to walk in. I don't want to sit across from her. You're going to end up wearing that. That's what she's telling Marge or she's saying to the group about Marge because Dolores had, whoever you had an issue with, she had you sitting across the table from them. I think that's how she had it set up. Um, or that's how she tried to set it up. Danielle and Jennifer start. When I tell y'all, bitch, <laughs> the way Jennifer was rapping Danielle up, <laughs> Bitch, the way that Jennifer was swinging Danielle every which way but loose. Jennifer started that argument. Jennifer finished that argument. <laughs> okay. I don't know if Jennifer had a shot or two by the time she came, but when I say Jennifer was on Danielle's ass, Danielle, Jennifer is one of the easiest reads in the room. 
Girl, as soon as Jennifer started talking about how poor you are, girl, how you want her life, girl, pretty much saying you broke. This is coming from the woman who let us know that she pretty much stayed in a marriage because she didn't have her own income. She didn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. When she told you that your husband had man boobs and you was about to reach across that reach across that table and snatch her up and throw her on them train tracks, girl, what you should have told her was my husband boobs are the same size as that bitch's boobs that your husband was fucking in the office, ho. That's what you should have said, girl. See, this is the thing. You got to hit Jennifer where it hurt. And where it hurt is to bring up that infidelity that happened between Bill and that, and that, and that woman. You bring up Bill being the office slut, okay? As much as Jennifer try and pretend that that shit don't bother her, it bothers her. It will bother her today. It will bother her today. You know where it, where it hurts the girls. Like Marlo, the Marlo ain't got nothing to do with this. Marlo's Achilles heel was the fact that she was trying to not give off that she was slicing and dicing bitches' faces back in the day. Okay. So anytime the girls brought up her past, Marlo started to spaz out. Because she didn't like the fact they brought that up. So anytime it got brought up, Marlo would just start shaking. <laughs> okay. Jennifer throwing <laughs> in <laughs> uh, the Danielle's face that girl you don't know nothing about family because basically you don't talk to your family and your friends become your family. Well, I tell you, baby, she was wearing Danielle out, but the thing is, Danielle had all of the she had she had the gun and it was loaded. She just didn't know how to shoot it. <laughs> yeah. Because anytime she said something about family, girl, you could have been wearing Bill out, and, and you could have. And yes, it probably would have been old stuff to us. But girl, the way you, sh girl, the the. I feel like Jennifer knew that man boobs comment would hurt Danielle because you heard Danielle say that hurts my husband. Did y'all hear when she said that? So I feel like Jennifer knew that probably was something that was sensitive. That's why she said it. That's why when you go when you go to toe to toe with girls like Jennifer, you got you got to go all the way to hell. You got to talk about her husband being an office slut. You got to talk about the fact that girl she over there raising them kids and I pressure up by her damn self because Bill don't be helped and she already told us. You got to talk about how Bill when he come home, girl his ass is in a goddamn pool house. And when I say your when I say your home is empty, I'm saying it's empty because your nigga ain't there, bitch. Girl, I'm saying it's empty because your man is in a motherfucking pool house while you stressed out with all them goddamn 50, 11 kids. That's how Jennifer, that's how Jennifer, Jennifer should have been. I mean, that's how Danielle should have been talking to Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, you got here. You, you got 18 bathrooms for quarters. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let me leave that lady alone. I was about to start reading Jennifer like she done did something to me. Jennifer ain't did nothing to me. <laughs> when I tell you, baby, Jennifer was on Danielle's ass. <laughs> I say, God. And she knew she won, bitch. I'm not gonna lie. When Jennifer, go back and watch it. When Jennifer, after Danielle reached across the, uh, had reached across the table and tried to snatch Jennifer up, <laughs> then, girl, when I tell you, Jennifer had a napkin, and she got that napkin, and she did, <laughs> this is how Jennifer did the napkin. I said, this, I was, I said, well, this bitch is a mess. <laughs> Jennifer got that napkin. <laughs> this is, girl, when I tell you, bitch, Teresa hopped up so fast, I don't know if, I don't know if they, uh, Dolores hopped up, or if she just, like, was startled. That's <laughs> After the, after Jennifer realized that she had won the argument, girl, go back and watch Jennifer. Jennifer was doing this. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, God, I'm not going to lie this. Jennifer was cracking me up. See, this is the Jennifer that I fell in love with. Because I know Jennifer used to be my girl. I don't go up for Jennifer no more. Jennifer used to be my girl because I like Jennifer's mouth. I said, that, that Jennifer got a mouth that'll make you be ready to slap the shit out of her. And then when Marge kind of had her spiraling, I was like, okay, girl, Jennifer, girl. You're not the girl I thought you was, girl. You were supposed to come back and start swinging Marge every which way but loose. 
And I just, I was like, mm. and now, like, this, after this season, I was like, yeah, Jennifer ain't that girl. But this is the Jennifer at that table when she was going back and going back and forth with Danielle. That's the Jennifer that I fell in love with. <laughs> the Jennifer with that smart ass mouth who be wrapping the girls up. Because Jennifer was definitely wrapping uh, Danielle up. Um, um, you are a clown. I go home and my husband is waiting on me. Your husband with the man boobs. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I mean, then, yeah, you did mention husbands first. That's the thing. We got to be fair. Even though, even though I did, I do feel like Danielle really wanted to come in to some type and have some type of resolve. Jennifer was coming in ready to fight. Jennifer, it didn't matter what Danielle said. Jennifer was coming to swing Danielle all around that steakhouse. And that's exactly what she did. Not physically, of course, verbally. Um, I thought it was kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. I got the joke. I, I don't think they got it. I saw some people online upset when Teresa when Teresa told Marge, you're full of shit. That's why you married a plumber. I think some people thought that she was taking a dig at, you know, the profession. I that was I felt like the I got the joke. You're full of shit. That's why you married a plumber. I don't know. Anyways, I thought it was funny. Um and then her and Rachel got, Teresa and Rachel got into it and uh, Rachel said, maybe your husband, maybe Louis not, isn't as forthcoming as you think he is. And then Teresa said, well, maybe your husband is not honest about his past. Now, this is the thing. Here we go. Another example. Even though in the, grand, in the, in the big picture, Louis and Teresa started that shit with Rachel and Joe. But in this conversation right here. I guess it doesn't matter, but Rachel did bring up the husband with, she mentioned Louie. And so now, Teresa gonna mention, <laughs> mention John or whatever his name is, John or Joe, or whatever his name is. Um, they start going back and forth. Like when I tell you, the way Marge, <laughs> The way Marge really has been swinging Jackie by her ponytail this season needs to be studied. I do believe that the goal when they started this season was for Marge, for it to be a takedown season for Marge. Marge is too smart for this group of women. I do believe that Marge was in contact with the ex. I don't know if it was necessarily before all this mess started. A part of me does believe that some of, like I said, we hear these stories all the time of people reaching out to housewives, trying to give them tea. Can I see people hitting up Marge in DMs? On sending emails, like, oh, this is this is about the new guy joining your show, Louie, and she getting this information from them. I could see that. That doesn't necessarily mean she's responding to these people. She just has the information that people are sending her. Again, it, it really doesn't change. It does. It, I don't know. I think what I'm trying to say is when it comes to Marge, Louie, Teresa. Regardless if she got in contact with them or not, it doesn't change the fact that Louie girl, you're a weirdo. You're still you're you were still in court with your ex. That ain't got shit to do with Marge. Like, girl, these these people coming out talking about you, girl, that's on them. That ain't on Marge. Anyways, um, Jackie and Marge. Marge basically lets it be known that Jackie. <laughs> Um, was in contact with the ex uh, prior, um, I think before, basically she was in contact with the ex. The ex came to her house. Let's see, Jackie said her girl ass down. Jackie was another one, girl. Jackie and fell out, girl. Y'all can have Jackie too, girl. I'm going to say Jackie said her ass down and told a whole lie, girl. 
a whole lie. No. <laughs> well, how did she start? How did she start? Um, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? And then Jennifer was, uh, Jennifer asked her, did you meet up with, did you really meet up with the ex? J- Jackie said no. So she was lying. And then, and then Melissa finally said, girl, you might, you better say it because you know, she, you know, she probably got proof. And that's when Jackie looked and she went, I met with her. <laughs> Good bitch. When, when Jackie told, bitch, bitch, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, when Jackie told, <laughs> when Jackie told Teresa, I met with her. Teresa said, huh? <laughs> Oh God! She said I met with her. Teresa said, "Huh?" <laughs> I met with her. <laughs> Teresa is so pissed off at Marge that she doesn't want to be mad at Jackie. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel like Jackie was vindicated. I do. Um, I would not believe anything that Jackie has to say. <laughs> I refuse to believe that that was a one and done. Jackie was too, Jackie spiraled too down into a hole when the whole rumors of Evan supposedly cheating on her came out for me to believe that it was just a one-time thing. I do not believe it, okay? Ja- instead of just Jackie owning her shit and just saying, girl, it is what it is. Girl, I met up with him. Yes, I was because bitch was out here trying to ruin my man's career, ruin my life. And so I said, girl, it is what it is, <laughs> right? Um... But again, Teresa says she didn't care, but she because she wants to be mad at Marge. And there may be some there may be some reasons for her to be mad at Marge, but if you can get over Jackie meeting meeting up with the woman. And the thing is, Teresa gonna have to understand, girl, everybody ain't just pull the shit out of their ass about your husband. <laughs> That's the gag. Melissa says she ran into, I think. His ex niece in law or something. I, I can't remember what she said. Somebody who's no, who knows Louie. And she said that they told her that watch out, he's dangerous or he's a creep or something like that. It was something, it was something crazy. Um, Jackie, when I tell y'all, bitch. <laughs> the way Jackie walked out of that restaurant, like she had just shitted on herself. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they say when you short <laughs> remember bridesman <laughs> I think that was bridesmaids who when somebody sharted on themselves that was holding their cheeks together while they walked because they were trying to keep it in, but it was already falling out. <laughs> oh! That's how Jackie was walking out of that restaurant. When I see Jackie was walking over, hunched over, girl, humping her back, girl, shoulders high but low at the same time. That's how Jackie was walking. Girl, high and low at the same time, neck down, girl, them heels was turned, Jackie feet up, girl, it looked like she was squeezing the little cheeks she got together, <laughs> let's hear you, Jackie walks out like she was defeated, Jackie, you look like a complete idiot this entire season, you are the new village idiot, <laughs> okay, girl, no, Teresa's still the village idiot too, but Teresa, I mean, but t- Jackie is an idiot because, girl, you really threw your friendship with Marge away to be cool with Teresa, who admitted on camera that she was only using you, for you then to turn around and have egg on your face when Marge finds out that girl, this bitch who's the ex was actually in your house. Marge was able to flip it around to make it seem as though, yeah, I've done things here and there, y'all talk to the girl. But baby, the bitch ain't never been in my house though, <laughs> okay? Your home girl that's sitting beside you, she having secret meetings, girl. There's a meeting in the ladies' room. 
I'll be back real soon. Girl, Jack was having a secret meetings and shit, okay? Jackie basically said she did it because, girl, again, Teresa had come for her husband and she wanted some dirt on uh, Louie, pretty much. Hmm. And then they played a montage, and it looked like it was the end of the. It looked like it was the end of the series. That's how. That's how it looked to me. If they come back, they come back. If they don't, they don't. Um, I think they. I think they should come back. I don't. This is the thing, girl. I don't think the group is that fractured. I really don't. Oh my ear is sorry. Um, I don't think the group is that fractured. There is going to have to be some changes because the fans, the the real New Jersey fans, are not having it. Me, I'm not invested in New Jersey like that. So they brought everybody back. They brought everybody back. They got rid of everybody. They got rid of everybody. I wouldn't care either way. Um, I know there has to be some changes made. I just don't know what changes will be made. Um, and I know that it's probably the big question is Melissa or Teresa. Melissa or Teresa. Again, I would just give Teresa her own show. And so the fans who actually stand for Teresa... They can have Teresa by themselves. I'm not being funny. I would just give her her own show. And then I would still probably get rid of Dolores. <sighs> Melissa could be a friend of the show. Melissa don't really bring nothing, honestly. And I would keep Marge as a housewife. Danielle, Rachel. I would bring Jennifer back. Even though, because Jennifer's just going to keep up shit with Danielle. Mm -hmm. I would probably get rid of Dolores. Dolores don't bring shit. I would just keep, I would keep Joe because of, or they can keep Dolores. Oh, but she would, I was about to say they can keep Frank, but I forgot. Um, they, what about Brittany? They can bring Brittany on. What do they bring Brittany on as a friend of the housewives? Get rid of Joe, and then you still got Frank, who's in charge of the boys in the party. But I feel like Joe Fuda, what's his name, John Fuda. John Fuda gives me like he's down for a good time. Quiet as it's kept. Even if they, if they if they did get rid of Melissa and Joe, John could probably step up to the plate and be the new Joe, because John looks like he likes to have a good time. So they really probably could get rid of Melissa and Joe, and then Rachel and John. And then John kind of be in charge of the boys because John likes to have a good time. I don't know, girl. I guess I'll figure it out. Is that it? It was the ending for me. <laughs> you subpoenaed like the wrong bitch. <laughs> oh, girl. Anyways, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.